if we look at who we are as Indigenous peoples of New Zealand and Māori, we have an Indigenous uh, connection to the water. Some of the issues that we have as Māori, but also as New Zealanders, is that we're drowning kohi kohi kai, or we're drowning gathering seafood. After four days, I'd floated somewhere back to Kapiti. I didn't even know where I was. I, I was just disorientated, having uh, hallucinations. I was just going to give up. But then all of a sudden, they came and picked me up. We knew of the benefits that surfing brought to us, and we wanted to share those experiences with our rangatahi, help develop their skills and knowledge so that then when they grow up, they're good role models in terms of water safety. And also to give them another opportunity to engage with our atua, such as Tangaro and Hine Moana, on a different level. Our eyes are no longer on ourselves when we're surfing. So you're looking beyond yourself. And I think that's a really important thing for teenagers to to think about outside of themselves. Waka ama to me is a way of life. It's a way of being, a way of supporting our mokopuna to realise that, you know, it doesn't matter what age you are, there's no barriers to enjoying life um, and taking care of your wellbeing. To know that we have created a safe journey and that our awatsupua has touched someone, now that there is something special to me. <laughs> There's a quotation that I like to hold on to um, that's come from our kwe kwe or kuroe ke, it's me hoki ki to maunga, hoki ki to awa, me hoki ki to marae. Kaua e ware ware, tēnei to tūranga wāwai. So all that is saying is go back to your mountain, go back to your river, go back to your marae and learn what our old people did back in the old days. <laughs>